welcome to the stage, Russell Ludlow! I'd like to talk to you today about maths in real life. <laughs> any, uh, any minute now? Very shortly, very shortly I'll be discussing that. Is maths useful? So, uh, a lot of people uh, have uh, quite bad experiences of maths. They get a lot of symbols and numbers and equations, and it all really doesn't uh, mean a lot to most people who are forced to learn it. Uh, I am a maths tutor, so I've taught uh, a thousand hours now, uh, so pretty, pretty big deal. And almost all these people don't really know why they're learning maths, even if they uh, kind of want to use it. Uh, this is one of the most common problems, I feel, if people just understood some application of how they could use maths to improve their life. It would be far more rewarding and motivating to actually uh, learn some of the algebra and uh, techniques and so on. So uh, I'm going to uh, talk about how I might use mathematical thinking to just hypothetically get a date with a woman. <laughs> just, just a random example. Um, doesn't, you know, could be anything. Yeah, nothing at all. So some variables. Variables is anything that changes and that I care about. So a variable might be how many dates do I go on? How many people do I ask? How creepily do I approach these people? <laughs> uh, the independent variables here are things under my control. So the number of people I ask is relatively up to me. I can ask, you know, quite a few different people. I can ask in a non-creepy way is relatively under control, but not entirely. Whereas a dependent variable is like an outcome depending on what I do. So the number of dates I get is totally out of my control. I can influence it with the independent variables, but I don't directly control it. So I'm kind of uh, imagining there's some function relating number of dates I might go on with number of people I'll ask. For example, that'll be a function, one thing relating to another thing. There's also a lot of chance involved here. Uh, I can't really go into all the mathematics of probability, but let's say there's a 5% chance of a random woman going on a date. That would mean, on average, I'd need to ask 20 women. But, uh, of course, could be more, could be less, don't really know. Uh, in math, in real life, we'd like to know what actually affects chance. And sometimes we kind of just have to guess. I assume the clothes I wear might make an effect. I assume uh, a lot of things, risk and reward. Okay, so we're looking for low risk scenarios, ideally. Things where if I ask someone a date, it doesn't really cost me anything. Whereas if I, you know, propose by bringing a Lamborghini and giving it to every woman I see, this would be a very high risk scenario. <laughs> It would cost me a lot of money every single time it went wrong. Whereas uh, typically it's quite a high reward, low risk uh, situation, as the cost is uh, my ego only, really. Uh, I'm estimating all these variables. I really have no idea what the chance of a random woman is, uh, but estimating just means we kind of round up or down some number that might make sense, and then we'll test whether or not uh, it does make sense. The hypothesis is what I think probably happens. Uh, I'm going to guess that if I dress up and shower and approach people in a calm, confident manner, that would be better than not showering and screaming at people. <laughs> I don't test this hypothesis on a sample of the population. I can't speak to every single woman who exists, unfortunately, but let's say I have test it on a sample of 10 over the next month. Uh, and I am a hypocrite because I do not think mathematically about most of these things in life, and thus have not asked any women on any dates for years. And part of, the reason, part of the reason I wanted to do this talk was remind myself, you can actually think mathematically about problems in your life, and uh, you've got some chance of actually making some progress. So hypothetically, you could think about your health this way, what variables are affected, which ones do you control, what outcomes would you like, uh, you know, form hypotheses like if I, do, obviously if I do more exercise, what types of exercises could I try, is it worth it, is it worth the reward, the risk, and so on. 
And it is never too late for anyone here to start thinking mathematically, even if you hate maths, hate equations, you can always consider variables and outcomes that you want, and it could potentially uh, improve everything about your life. So try. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this video, you can see others on the Better Culture YouTube channel. Subscribe now and you'll be notified when new ones are uploaded.